and welcome to Shore Fishing Hawaii, Volume 1, Baitcasting Basics. I'm Chris Kadooka, and over the next hour, we'll learn how fishermen in Hawaii practice this simple form of fishing. We'll start off with an instructional section for beginners that shows all of the gear and tackle you'll need to start fishing, and explains how all of the stuff is designed to be used. Plus, we'll cover how to tie the snell knot on a circle hook and the correct way to make a wire leader. If you're a veteran fisherman, check out the tips and tricks section for some tackle tips, some new baits to try, and something new that can extend the life of your live bait without changing water. Later, we'll get hooked into some nice fish and you'll see how they were all caught. We'll show you how we rigged the tackle, what kind of bait we used, and explain how the fish was fought and landed. You'll even see some gyotaku prints that were made from the fish. When a fish bites this, the jaw gets locked onto this back section here, and now it's caught here and has a very difficult time getting dislodged out of the fish's jaw. The harder he pulls and struggles, the more it sets. So once it gets in there, it basically can't come out. Well, you pass your line through the hook from the front to the back and hold this down. And very simply, you're just going to wind this down seven times. This clips in like this. This is tied down either to the rock or a spike that's being anchored in the rock and it, it basically keeps your whole outfit from being pulled in the ocean. Oh, this is a nice fish. So Darren, you know, we got some live bait now and what we're going to do is we want to try and um, preserve the live bait. I know you got a product that you've been using for your tropical fish you know, to ship that helps extend the life of those fish. Yeah, yeah uh, a great product that I've been using for years is Amalock and all it basically does is locks up all the toxic um, waste in the fish produces uh, when it's in a closed container so all its poop and everything won't harm it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drop a little bit of that amalok in one of the buckets and put a big kupipi that we caught into that bucket and we won't put anything into the other bucket and we also have another kupipi that's the same size we're going to put it in there and then we're going to see what happens after about six or seven hours and hopefully the amalok one will be lively and ready to go. Yeah, in the past it's worked great for us. Thanks. 